All right. So we are going to add styles and data to our Lightning Web component. Now this particular trail, um, we are skipping a whole lot of foundation, especially when it comes to retrieving the data from Salesforce. So if I skip along here and you see this code, this is just a an example so you get the feel on how the data can be pulled and it will be showing on our app so to understand the foundation on how the whole thing works and tied together i don't want to explain it on this particular video because we have to lay down the proper foundation first so you get uh, to understand how this whole thing work together. Um, okay, let's just say that and let's do the examples here. So let's say this is an example so you can see how the whole thing um, is going to be displayed on the app. So for example, for the CSS, we want to change this uh, price point to green and bold. So to do that, we are going to edit the CSS file, the selector.css file, right? Which is this one. And we are going to add the price uh, style. And we define the color as green and the font weight as bold. So I'm gonna flip back to my VS code here. I've opened the selector.css, so basically I've added the price style here. Um, I'm, I'm defining the color as green and the font weight as bold. And then you can just deploy that to your um, playground if you want to. So deploy source to org, but let's, let's wait. And if I flip back to my trail hat, over here so with that it's gonna look like this the bike card right so this is our bike card app which we can access from here and you can type bike card it goes here and this is the bike card I've already done it see the name is displaying as well so if I choose any bike over here you can see the price font is bold and green that's what we've done right so basically adding that css um, lines will do that so if i go back to our trailhead over here now um applying lightning design system style so this uh, slds has a reference page as well so if I go to SLDS reference, the lightning design system. Okay, so this is the lightning design system which you can use uh, to design your UI while developing your lightning web component. So this is just a small part of it, right? like the class SLDS text heading small. So how do you know what that is, right? So you use this reference. So if I click design guidelines, um, yeah. So please do your own reading like this markup and style, utility classes here to get a better understanding and how and when to use this kind of classes. Okay, so as I said, this is just an example, this whole uh, particular trail to understand uh, the whole thing uh, properly, you would need the proper foundation, which I will show you in the next video series. So for now, um, we can just apply this on the HTML 
selector right so i'm going to copy this yeah so that is the detail um component so this is the template html so we've already pasted there all right so i'm going to flip back to our trailhead playground there so that's how you do that and then it's just going to uh, display this as a small heading um, heading but a small heading and then this is a medium heading okay like select a bike so if i take a look what that looks like so this one select a bike okay and then this is a medium heading and when you select that um, so that's select a bike medium heading and then the actual bike name is a small heading it's a smaller heading got it so this is a smaller heading but if you reload you can only access it when it's not selected right so if i go here that is a bigger heading all right so that's how you style it now how did you get the the username available box for jimmy tanzil this is the selector js which i've shown you earlier in the video how to get salesforce data using the at wire annotation but the whole explanation here requires a proper foundational understanding on how this whole thing works which they never explain so i don't bother going to explain you everything because that's going to take too long so basically to try it out please just copy this whole thing okay for selector.js so if i flip back to my vs code we have the selector.js here this one okay so you can just copy and paste what you have there and then the selector.html uh, as well um, you put the name variable there which you can get from here so selector.js this one and then selector.html this one once you're done deploy it to your vs code like so you can right click on your selector component and then sfdx deploy source to org which i already did so as you can see once you did that your whole um, buy card app will look different and it will have like that which is already applied right so that's pretty much it um uh, i'm not going to explain you how the wire um, annotation work and everything we are going to do that on the next video say uh, series but i want to lay the proper foundation first by teaching you uh, the foundation of javascript functions um how we use javascript on lightning web component development i want to lay that foundation first and then move forward so you will properly understand how this whole thing come together like how this uh, js come together what is this what is this doing what is this doing what is this doing what is this doing um, right so i don't agree that this well it's a good example but but they should have explained um don't bother understanding everything here because here when you read through it and you what what is how what you can understand it right because they don't properly explain it and don't get overwhelmed i will explain it to you properly not on this particular trail but on my next video series so with that let's also the mobile is looks pretty ugly as well they mentioned you have to basically make it better right this is just how to how to get the taste and feel on how lightning web component uh, are deployed mostly right so 
to do the challenge we want to create a new app um, named bike selection in your playground and then add uh, the bike app onto there and we can get the how many points 500 points here all right all right so to do that launch your playground which i already did over here so i'm going to go back here i'm going to go to my setup here setup and go to lightning app builder lightning app builder over here and we are going to make a new one and call it bike selection and the developer name should be your bike selection pay attention to that so we are going to create an app page bike selection we don't set the anyways let's choose one region it doesn't say what we should use right now we have our custom selector there drag it there and save that's pretty much it right I'm going to activate that bike selection activate for all users there I think that's it I'm going to save that finish and save again okay if I go back here um, So the API name is not what we want, right? Because it doesn't even ask what API name I want. I'm going to edit that. Here. Developer name, you want to change that. Let's copy the whole thing. And make sure you get it correctly. Your bag selection. Put it there. So your bag selection and save it. And save it okay I think that's it I'm gonna leave that well if you want to try well you know right it's gonna be exactly like this one just a different name so I'm gonna just grab my points and be done with it so I'm going to explain you uh, properly and lay a good foundational um, groundwork for you to understand how to develop lightning web component starting by explaining you the javascript function that you need to know and moving on from there so you get a shiny new badge and good job bada bing bada boom hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the salesforce app exchange and do yourself a favor like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing Bada boom.